Hi everyone. Hi. Today we're making creamy roasted chicken thighs, like a really delicious dinner. Mm -hmm. Again, I've been having this for lunch. It's so good. <laughs> this one will definitely be a family favorite. I think it's a really good winter dinner, all in one pot, nice and easy. Um, we do have the oven preheated because we are going to pop it in the oven at the end. But we've got all of our ingredients here, so I'll just quickly go through those. So we have got some chicken thigh cutlets, which are bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. They can be a little bit tricky to find. Um, I couldn't find any at Woolworths the last couple of times I've tried to buy them, but I was able to find them at Coles. Sometimes they have them in the deli section, but they haven't lately. That was in like the pre-packaged chicken, chicken section. section. Or at a butcher is probably a good option. But the bone-in skin-on is really good for this recipe. Our other ingredients, we have got a leek. So this is just the pale kind of green part and the white part of the leek and I've just sliced it up. We have got some bacon that's been chopped up. We've got some ghee, garlic, Dijon mustard some of our chicken broth and some cream, some salt and pepper and then we're just going to use a bit of xanthan gum at the end to thicken up the sauce. So what we're going to do is kind of start this off on the stovetop. So we've got like an enamel cast iron pan that we can put on the stovetop and then pop into the oven to finish off. If you don't have that, you could like start in a frying pan on and then just transfer it to, to a like casserole a casserole dish. dish or a baking dish to pop in the oven at the end. But the very first thing we're going to do is season our chicken thighs on both sides really well. Then we're going to cook them off a bit to kind of brown the skin. Then we'll make our sauce and pop it all into the oven. So you do want to season the chicken thighs fairly liberally on both sides with salt and pepper so this is a new recipe and yes. all, as always the link will be in the description below so that you can get all of the um, measurements and everything from there yes and we have a kind of not a, it's not similar but we do have another kind of oven roasted chicken thigh recipe with the mushrooms. Like mushrooms it's delicious as well that's really nice um, but this is more like I really love the combination of like mustard with leek and cream. It's really delicious. Not a fan of touching the chicken. Like <laughs> okay, so now we've got our chicken thighs all seasoned up. We're going to head over to the stove. Okay, so we've got our pan heating up with some ghee in it, and we're going to pop in our chicken thighs with the skin side down. And we're just going to cook those for five to seven minutes until the skin's just starting to brown. You can actually smell the salt and pepper. The really? pepper especially <laughs> has gone up my nose. Okay, so our thighs have been cooking for a little while. So you can see the skin has started to brown. So we're just going to turn them over now and cook them for another few minutes on this side. So they don't need to be cooked through, we're just kind of starting them cooking and getting like some of the juices into the pan. So we're just going to cook them for a few minutes on this side and then we will get them out and set them aside on a plate. Okay, so we're just going to, while the chicken's cooking away, start getting some of our sauce ready. So we have got our chicken broth, which is gelatinous. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit gelatinous and we've got our cream. So we're just going to mix these all together and then we've got our minced garlic and our Dijon mustard. So we're just going to pop these all into this jug, give it a bit of a whisk and then it will be ready to pour in later. Okay, our Chicken thighs have been cooking a few minutes on this side now, so we're just going to take them out. And then we're going to add our bacon and our leeks in and cook 
apologize for a few minutes. So we're just going to cook these for about five minutes till they're starting to kind of cook down. Okay, so you can see our leeks are really cooked down now. It smells really good in here. So now we're going to add in our mixture that we made earlier that was the broth, the cream, garlic and Dijon mustard and we're just going to let this simmer away for a couple of minutes to kind of come together as a sauce then we're going to pop our chicken thighs on top and then bake it in the oven until the chicken's all cooked it's almost like a chicken pie filling flavors well I was going to say it was kind of like carbonara or something oh, okay Oh, it smells, it smells really good in here. <laughs> it's all simmering away and it's come together. So now we're going to pop our chicken thighs back in. We want to keep the skin side up. And then we are going to pop it in the oven to kind of finish cooking the chicken thighs and for all the flavours to come together. So the chicken's going to be cooking in that yummy leek mixture. Make sure you I was going to ask if that was going back <laughs> in. There was a lot of juice there. Pop your chicken juices in. This has just come out of the oven and it is smelling delicious. So to finish it off, we're just going to thicken up the sauce. You don't have to do this part if you are happy with the sauce this consistency, but we prefer to have it thick. So I'm just going to take the chicken thighs out. Look how crispy. Yeah and delicious that skin is i've been having it for lunch reheated so the skin doesn't stay crispy so oh. i didn't realize but that's really crispy <laughs> so, so this is our sauce so certainly you could definitely eat it like this there's you don't have to do this step it's just the texture thing isn't it it's not yeah yeah so we have got our xanthan gum here you can actually buy this um at even at woolies now in the macro kind of range so you just want like a scant half teaspoon so you don't need much and you just want to really lightly sprinkle it over the top this way it doesn't kind of get lumpy so just really lightly sprinkle it and there's no heat or anything there's no heat or anything on and then you're just going to stir that through and it will thicken up might seem like it's not going to do anything initially but have faith people have faith just keep stirring okay so you can see now it's much more like a sauce much i really think it's like a chicken pie filling that's what i'm going with uh, looks so good so now you could just serve up the chicken thighs and kind of spoon it over the top i'm just going to pop them nestle them back in there okay i have just served up dan one of our crispy chicken thighs with some of that creamy leek and bacon sauce you can see the sauce really thickened up <laughs> I want to eat this you skin, want the chicken but... skin do you <laughs> it's so delicious i think she's right it is like a chicken and leek pie but like look at that <laughs> you're just gonna go i'm gonna eat it <laughs> so crispy mm. delicious it's amazing the zant that tiny bit of xanthan gum makes such a difference to the sauce i think it's so good now you could serve this with like some steamed green veggies or like 
cauliflower mash, cauliflower rice, something like that. You could even get some kind of low carb noodles or something to put this sauce through. So. I've just had it with like some steamed broccoli and stuff and it's yeah. Yeah, completely delicious. Give this recipe a try. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried this. This is a new recipe, so give it a go. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.